We've had thick people on the show, but I, as a general consensus, I would say it's the buffest couch I've ever had. <laughs> it is. Look at that. Look at the guns on that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How old are you when you decided, right, I'm going to build my body? I was 15 years old, and um, I saw a cover, uh, a magazine uh, called uh, Muscle and Fitness, and on the cover was Reg Park, a British bodybuilding champion who won the Mr. Universe competition three times, and I got really inspired by his story, that how he trained five, six hours a day, became uh, Mr. Universe, and then got uh, to be the Hercules, the star of Hercules movies, and so I wanted to have exactly the same career. So I started training five, six hours a day and uh, became a fanatic about it. And apparently at some point, your mother, when you were a teenager, you had all these posters on your wall and everything, that your mother got a bit worried about you. Well, I, uh, that's true. <laughs> uh, I, for inspiration, I put uh, on my bedroom wall uh, all those champions, uh, boxers, oh, Muhammad right. Ali, Sonny Liston, weightlifters, powerlifters, strongmen, bodybuilding champions, Reg Park. And so I showed off to my mother, I said, look how I decorated the, my wall here. And she looked at that and she started crying. <laughs> And she was very concerned about that. Yes. That I love oiled-up man. <laughs> and so there was a, a tremendous concern there. And uh, Arnie's books on bodybuilding, they're still the go-to books, aren't they? They're... Oh, it's not too late, Ronnie. If you want to learn, it's all in there. Oh, my, oh my God. It's all in there. Have that. Hey, it's very heavy. I want you to... Oh. <laughs> Are you all right? It's very heavy. Matching. No, it is very heavy. Matching. <laughs> There's this one. This is uh, Arnold's Bodybuilding for Men. Now, I've been to the gym a bit, uh, <laughs> and I just wondered if you would explain, um, what muscle is he exercising in this pose? <laughs> He's exercising the obliques, the side muscles. Question yes. answered. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, what did you think? I didn't know. I didn't uh, know. That's what I was uh, asking. I went and did Avengers. You know, I saw those guys put on suits, and I saw underneath. Like, I was like, you're not working out at all. And I won't say who it is. <laughs> and then they put on the suits, and they looked fantastic. They yeah. looked amazing. Whereas him, his suit doesn't really have any bumps and stuff that's not there. So I know that he's back in his thing, because he's kind of like the Daniel Day-Lewis of comedians. You know what I'm saying? Very method. Whereas me, <laughs> as a 50-year-old man who gets sore, I put myself through torture for mm, you. Yeah. <laughs> and boy, did it pay off. It really did. I got shredded. I know. Incredible. It's crazy. And, and what was nice was you kept your fans up to date. You posted uh, videos of your, of your workouts. Here's one of the, the videos of you working out. Were you involved in that, Ryan? Uh, no, I had no, nothing but he to had. do with no, that. No, for sure you did, because it was very indirect. You were in that bathroom, admit it. I was, I filmed it. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. When you do a big action film like that, presumably you have to show up looking all buff and toned. Well, yes, you do, but you spend months and months and months training with, you know, crazy martial arts instructors, and you're on crazy diets, and it's the hardest experience it really is because you're eating a lot of boring stuff oh chicken breasts and um vegetables all the time yeah but it's cakes and pastas and breads and sandwiches and croissants and it's just like <laughs> all the time that's all you can think about do you ever crack do you ever oh, crack? yes absolutely once a week at least but you don't crack just light slightly you crack bad. <laughs> I was with my girlfriends. We were out in a we were out in New York City for a night. It was the cheat day. I saw Dunkin' Donuts. It was just one of those weird. I said, pull the car over, pull over right now. We pulled over. We were all decked out. We ran in. I got 24 donuts. <laughs> went to a pizza joint. We got two giant large pizzas. And I sat in that car and I put as much bread and dough in my mouth <laughs> as I could possibly manage. <laughs> It was the best moment. I, 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 I honestly it. didn't think I could find you more attractive. <laughs> <laughs> For all these roles, you have to be uh, in amazing 
shape. So was the Witcher the same, where you just have to kind of shred, shred, shred? Yes. Um, the training for these kind of things, the most important thing is, is your own health. It's so you can stay physically fit without injuries while doing all these, these crazy things like being thrown against pillars yeah, or yeah, yeah. jumping out of um, aeroplanes. It's... Uh, it, it, that's what it really is for. I mean, yes, you're supposed to look a certain way aesthetically, especially getting a shirt off, but um, it's mostly for just, just staying healthy. But what the weird thing is, and this doesn't sound very healthy, if you're doing one of those shirt things, um, you can't... Shirtless. What, shirtless. Yes. Uh, if you're doing a shirtless scene, uh, what's that you have to, to dehydrate yourself? Oh, yeah, yeah, that is by... That's the worst part of it. Like, diet is difficult um, and you're hungry, but when you're dehydrating for three days, <gasps> you get to the point on the last day where you can smell water, like, nearby. So wh why, do you, why do you do that? To, to get super it's, toned? It, yeah, it gets your... Uh, it makes your skin really thin, so it sits on the muscles. Um, wow. Yeah, it's, it, so it's you, not So you've got health. a scene with your top off, cos Bryn came out of the sea and Gavin and Stacey. <laughs> I did not dehydrate for three days. <laughs> Fanta, didn't I, before I went in? <laughs> so, you, so you're going to be dehydrating. Yes. I was in good shape. Yeah. So, so you de... And, and then it makes it all... Ooh. Yeah, yeah. But for three days, that can't be good That's for not you. Healthy. It's, it's not It's not no water for three days. You, okay. on, the, on the first day, you'll have, um, like, a litre and a half. And the second day, half a litre. And then the third day, no water. And you'll shoot the fourth. And the wow. funeral is on the sixth day. <laughs> <laughs> Do not try this at home, but you can lose up to 10 pounds of... which is four kilos of weight on your surface. Like, so all of this under here is water. So you drink a lot of water for a week, getting up to maybe 10 litres a day, and then you stop about 30 hours before you film. And so for the next 10 hours, you pee... You're just peeing constantly because you've been drinking, so your body's used to it. And then all this water is going... You start... You have, like, a half a baked potato and a few other things that suck water from the inside, and then it's kind of not fun, but the results end up being pretty good. Again, do not try this. <laughs> <laughs> unless, you're unless you're getting married next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just for the final push for the dress. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But you will have a massive headache for the entire wedding. No, do you just feel awful? You must you feel, feel bad. You feel bad and you have a headache. Tell them, tell them about, the, about the, the meals. The, you know, you standing on the set yeah. eating. Like... You eat every two hours and, uh, you a know, meal. it's like 6,500 calories a day. So, for me, it was a lot. And, Mum, not your cooking either. Like, steamed chicken and steamed broccoli. That not was like it. your yeah. beautiful stuff. Yeah. Uh, but then, so that's how you did it yes. but in a film. Patrick, how did you do You're not even in a film in this picture. This is just you hanging out. What? Uh, <laughs> Come on. That was, you. Was that, that was last year, right? Yeah. Last year. Gym. Do you gym all the time? Uh, no, sir, I do not. Um, <clears throat> I just think clean thoughts. <laughs> 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 that, I, I, I'm embarrassed about that photograph. The whole purpose of the it, photograph was the pink motif. The shoes, the it, shorts, the cocktail. It doesn't go with beef stew. It doesn't <laughs> go with <laughs> beef stew. It's sorry. Uh, but no, you're in fantastic condition. Thank you. Is Thank it you yoga? Great. No, I was, you know, it, I was born you with it. Yoga. Thank you, my mother and father. They gave me great skin and they gave me this um, Did you physique. do the yoga? Maybe over the years you no, did no, 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 I tried it. It was not for me. Right. It hurt. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them about it. <laughs> Tom, obviously, being Spider-Man, you've got to be in amazing shape. But they did weird things to you. I don't know if you have... Oh, yeah. What's the electric thing? Have you ever heard of this EMS training? It's like a, you wear this sort of, like, black suit and they put these pads on you and you basically do, like, a yoga class while they electrocute you. <laughs> and I, it's It's awful. like muscle stimulation? Yeah, it's like muscle yeah. stimulation, but you <laughs> work like... out while you use it. I basically cheated. Um, but I did it with my best friend, and every time the trainer would go to the bathroom, one of us would crank up the machine that my <laughs> friend was using, and you can't, like, you genuinely can't move. Like, it, like, makes every part of your body shake, and it's awful. It's a lot of fun, and it works, but it really is the worst thing I've ever done. I've never heard of that. That's... Yeah. Have you... No, but I saw a commercial today on TV here with Cristiano Ronaldo, yeah. right, who's <laughs> probably one of the most physical specimens on the planet with this ab machine and this bicep machine standing there in his underwear and he's just going like this, shaking with his eyes closed. And <laughs> I don't think that's how he got in shape. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So 
somebody sitting there on their couch, stuffing their face, having a pint, is going to be like, oh, yeah, well, now I figured it out. I can just <laughs> buy one of those. It's not happening. Because, Kelly, you do look amazing. You Thank do, you. Rose. You really do. She walked out, and it's like, wow! Thanks. So, do you do exercise? Do you, do you do... I do, I do. I like to exercise, yes. Okay, so how many sit-ups do you do a day? Honestly? Yeah. I do like to do 200 sit-ups at night. Yes. A night? 200? Not all through the night. Oh, no. <laughs> it, would take, it would take me all night if I was going to do it. <laughs> Six in the morning, I'm nearly finished. <laughs> <laughs> but about 200 sit-ups a night, like, you'd be surprised at how just, like, simple walks and things like that just make you feel better. I like the fact that exercising makes me feel good. Can it's I not about say, size. People are watching this, I go, she went for a walk, and that's what she looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A, a brisk walk. A brisk <laughs> walk. A brisk walk. A brisk power walk. Yeah. A lot of love has been made of the weight loss. Mm. So for English people, I think you lost something like three and a half stone. Is what we would say. 47 pounds. What would that Three be? and a half stone. Here we go. <laughs> three and a half stone. <laughs> three and a half stone. That's a yeah. lot of it's sounded, Three and a half stone sounds heavy, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pounds. <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh, <laughs> Three and a half stone. Uh, <laughs> does, does it kind of frustrate you in a way that that's got so much attention where you're kind of like, still acting over here, <laughs> still doing really good well, acting? I, I understood that, you know, before the film came out, that's your headline. That photo yeah. that came out of me in the airport um, was the... Wow. Oh, that's how we get people to click on this site. I got that. Yeah. Um, I'm happy to say and happy that the reaction has been that once people saw the film, yes, the weight loss was something, but, I mean, you see, you know, who this guy was, and it wasn't... It, wasn't, it be quickly became something more than the Matthew McConaughey got skinny film. If yes. you see the film, yeah. it's obvious in about 30 seconds that that's not the film you're in. No, but you needed to do it. Yeah, this was not an, uh, an affectation. This was not an eccentric idea I had about I think it'd be really cool if I lost a lot of weight. Yeah. You know, this was one of those ones where you go, it's my responsibility to do this, to best portray this man. If I do not, I will be embarrassed. And you're also not going to buy the But also, movie. your family and friends must have been... Were they, they must have been worried for you. Yeah, I mean, the people that know me know me well. They, they, there were some people that got a little bit worried, but I said, I've got it. It was under control, and it was... I met with the nutritionist, did it as healthily as possible. And my family was around me daily. It was so gradual, they didn't really notice it. My, my daughter one day said, Papa, why is your neck like a giraffe? That was... <laughs> other than that. Well, what were you eating, honestly? Five ounces of fish, a cup of vegetables twice a day. Uh -huh. Some pudding in the morning and as much red wine as I liked at night. <laughs> now, you have... You, I mean, you know, we see you on your television, but really, you are in America now. You are making films. Yes. Proper films. I've been off making some films. Hopefully, I might uh, stay in some of them and they might appear <laughs> on screen at some point. No, but no, look, here you are with The Rock. I mean, you're in a film with The Rock. I did a film with The Rock, yes. He's yeah. the best man I've ever met. He's one, well, second best, maybe now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's, he's amazing and he's the kindest guy. He has this gym that he travels with, which I got to go into, which I felt very honored to be invited into the Iron Paradise. Ooh. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's his traveling gym. And one day on set, he was like, Do you work out? And I was like, Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, Quadzilla here. Uh, and, and then he invited me round to the gym and I went round and these machines are enormous. He had taken all of the weights off all of the machines. <laughs> so it was just the bars. <laughs> and even then I was like, I don't think I can manage the weights. <laughs> so I went in the corner and got onto an exercise bike and popped in an audiobook. And he, he's in the other corner with, like, a chain round his neck and he's crunching all of this iron, like, listening to rap music. And I'm over there, like, want to call the midwife. <laughs> 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 Who's <Moving> along? <laughs>